COVID-19 can penetrate any social bubble with enough time and without adequate preparation. We're all tired of this virus, but this virus is not tired of us. That's Governor Jay Inslee today laying out new restrictions in Washington state to limit social gatherings, especially on college campuses. This as the state faces its latest major spike in coronavirus cases. Clark County, among several across the state, experiencing major daily case increases, causing health officials to again sound the alarm. Our Wayne Haverly digging deeper into this trend. I know, Wayne, you spoke with Washington's chief science officer. Uh, what did they have to tell you about all this? Well, you know, by now we all feel it. COVID fatigue, and as much as uh, we would all like this to be over, the latest trends clearly show that many of us are really starting to uh, let our guard down, and we've been doing that in recent weeks. With the arrival of fall and cooler temperatures comes a rising trend in COVID cases in Western Washington. So the number of cases of COVID um, is increasing pretty rapidly um, in Western Washington, it's, and it's particularly in the urban areas of Western Washington. So the, the three large counties in the Puget Sound, Kings, Nahomish, Pierce are all seeing increases along with Clark County. The metrics don't look good. Scientists say for schools and businesses to effectively move towards something closer to normal, COVID cases need to be between 25 and 75 cases per 100,000 people. However, in Clark County today, the number of COVID cases per 100,000 is 115. That's up from 90 just two weeks ago. We're continuing to increase and that compounded with, you know, uh, people spending more time indoors because the weather is changing upcoming holidays. Um, yeah, we are concerned that it's going to keep going up. Fortunately, there are plenty of things we can all do to reverse the trend. It's incredibly important that people not only wear their masks, um, you know, to the grocery store or the pharmacy, but also keep them on when they're um, taking a break and talking to their colleagues at work, when they're having friends over to their house, um, or when you're driving in a car with other people. When you do have visitors at your home, Dr. Laffey recommends bundling up and meeting outside if you can. But if it's just too wet out there, she says wear a mask and try to bring the outside air in. It's really important that you open a window and really think about how you can ventilate that indoor airspace as best as possible. Yeah, it may be the perfect time right now to go out there and buy a warm jacket, get some long underwear. Definitely a chilly challenge ahead, but it's an important one if we want to get a handle on these rising cases and try to reverse the trend. Back to you.